Welcome back. Today we're going to make like a line dancer and do some two-step. This time, however, we're going to be doing some two-step equations here. Remember, I'm Mr. Sullivan. Uh, let's get right to it. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is let's just identify. Let's identify what operations are being actually used here, okay? Because sometimes that's, you know, that's the tricky part. So let's talk about what operations are actually being done. So the first thing here, I want to talk about this. I want to isolate this X. So I only care about what's being done to that X on the same side as the X. So this 24, it's on the other side. It's not really performing any operation over here. So we have two numbers. We have this negative 2 and we have this positive 8. So we need to talk about what operations are happening, okay, and what the numbers are doing. So the first one, let's talk about this negative 2. <clears throat> Here are order of operations, grouping, exponent, multiply, divide, add, subtract. The only operation grouping has uh, things like that or a super long um, division bar that it groups things. Exponents are up in the sky. Multiply could be written like this. It could be written with parentheses. Divide is generally written with a fraction bar. Adding, you can clearly see, and subtraction, you can clearly see. The one thing here, I don't see anything between these two operations. Multiplication can have nothing between two things. So neg this is actually negative 2 times x. So on this, I am multiplying, and I'm going to write multiplying by negative 2. All right? So then my other operation is a positive 8, and that is adding plus 8. So those are my two operations right now, um, and we'll talk more about why, we, why we're dealing with that in just a second. Let's go over here to this side. All right, again, I don't care about the 10. I, I know it's flipped, but I only care about the side with the variable, all right? So I have a 3 and I have a 4. So this 3 is dividing, so I'm dividing by 3. And this is a positive 4. It does, this doesn't determine what this number is doing, okay? The number is always about what's in front of the number, and it's a positive 4. So that's adding 4, okay? If this was 10 equals 4 minus b over 3, all right, this would still be a plus 4, okay? All right, let's try this one. So now we're going to actually solve this, okay? We're going to have a couple of things we want to do. Remember when we solve equations, first thing is we want to draw that line straight down the middle, right? Straight down the middle so we know that there's two sides of the equation. All right, so the first thing, and I really think it might be helpful for you to do this, I want you to write GEMDAS on the side. And then identify what you're doing. So I'm adding 5, so I'm going to put a plus 5, and I'm going to be dividing by 4. All right. Now, the reason I think it's very important is we talked about undoing operations when we just talked about one step. So when we added, we subtracted from both sides, we undid that operation. It was called the inverse operations. So when we are just simplifying things, we use the order of operations the way they're intended, like GEMDAS, grouping, exponents, multiply, divide, and subtract. When we're solving equations, and that's important, when there's an equal sign, we're solving equations, we have to isolate the variable. I want to get k by itself. When we're doing that, we have to do the inverse. So we are going backwards. So really now, instead of doing grouping or exponents or multiply or divide first, I'm going to look here. I have these two things. I have division and, and addition, so I'm going backwards. I'm going to undo them. So I need to undo a, adding by 5 first. So I'm going to come over here, and my very first step, the opposite of adding 5 is subtracting it. If I do it to this right side of the equal sign, I need it to do it on this left side of the equal sign. I'm going to put a long bar there so I know that's my first step. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Then I, the 5s cancel, and I get k over 4. All right? Then I go to my next one. The opposite of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. And then what do I get? k, because these cancel out, they undo each other, equals negative 8. All right? 
we should check this. So let's see here. 3 equals, what is our k? And k is negative 8 over 4 plus 5. 3 equals negative 2 plus 5. Yep, 3 equals 3, and it checks. Let's try another one. So here we go. This first one here. 8 minus 3x equals 17. So on the side, let's talk about what is actually being done here. So I have, I'm multiplying by negative 3. I know it looks like minus 3x, but that is actually multiplying by negative 3. And I'm adding by positive 8. Remember, this minus sign does not go with the 8. The minus sign goes with the 3. So let me draw my line. All right. So when I go backwards, when I undo it, I first have to undo the add 8. So the first thing I have to do is the opposite of add 8, which is subtract 8. So these cancel. Negative 3x equals 17 minus 8 is 9. All right. What's my next step? The opposite of multiply by negative 3 is divide by negative 3. Now, important thing, a lot of people forget this. This is a negative here. You have to bring that negative down, okay? So now the reason is I'm not dividing by a positive 3. I'm dividing by a negative 3, all right? There's my second step. Negative 3 and negative 3 cancels, and I have x equals negative 3. And you guys know how to check that. You don't need me to check it anymore with you, I don't think. Let's try another one. All right. Here we have 10, and it looks like an adding 10. All right? Adding 10. And then I have a divide by 4. But I want to talk about this. This negative. I think Mr. Bruss talked to you about these negatives with fractions. We could put it on top, and we could have negative y over 4, or we could put on the bottom and have y over negative 4. What I want you to do when you're solving these, I really want you to think about that is attaching it to whichever has the number. All right? So y is a variable. I don't want to put it there. I want to put it down here. So I'm actually dividing by negative 4. Okay, so when I undo things, right, I undo things backwards, what's the first thing on GEMDAS? I have add and subtract, All right, um, I'm adding 10 and I'm dividing, so I have to undo addition. I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So now I have those are gone. I have negative y over 4 equals 7 minus 10 is negative 3. Now, this is what I'm talking about. So this is the opposite of dividing by negative 4. I'm going to multiply by negative 4. So those cancel. That's my next step. So y equals positive 12. Positive 12. All right? Really need to think about these negatives on these problems, okay? On this one, you had to bring it down. On this one, you had to bring it down, but you also had to attach it to the denominator. So I want you to pause the video and try this one all on your own. Good luck. Okay, so we had subtraction of 23, and we are multiplying by 5. So the very first thing I had to do, remember I have to go, I have to undo, so I go up. So the opposite of subtraction is adding 23 to both sides. Then I had 5x equals 15. The opposite of multiplying is divide both sides by 5, and I got my answer of x equals 3. Way over here, you can see I checked it. If you want, pause the video to make sure I did that correctly. There you have it. Good luck on these two-step equations. I really think you guys are going to do an awesome job. Uh, keep doing good work, and we'll see you next time.